And now for the Monero development segment. Hello, hello. Oh, I thought I added you. Haha. Uh -huh. Hello. Hi. Uh, <laughs> How's it going? It's going pretty well. Good, good. How'd you like Monerotopia? <laughs> oh, it was great. I was um out of commission for a large majority of it, but it was great. Uh uh, the bit that I, I know, saw, so I know person. you like appeared out of nowhere. We saw and you. I was like, I didn't see you yesterday. Just, like, and you're head, like, well, like... I wasn't here. I was like, oh. yeah, yeah. <laughs> got hit, huh? Yeah, I sh but it might have. I mean, I went to a buffet, so I mean, it, yeah, mistakes yeah. were made. <laughs> Lessons, <laughs> Lessons were mistakes learned. were made. Lessons, Lessons were learned. <laughs> but um, yeah, outside of that, everything was great. Um, seeing people in person was very interesting i don't know if y'all know this but doug is jack oh, like Deacon. on camera, uh, Deacon, yeah, you're on camera. I'm like, okay doug's like i'm like doug is i'm like doug hits the gym let's let y'all know let's, that let's bring him down from his cloud because he's already like, <laughs> up. Why do you say that because when i went when we met you we were looking up, yeah well like, i was like well i'm a huge as you can tell how tall i was like you, holy man. shit you're super tall i'm, not, I'm like just six one <laughs> tall. Well, yeah, for yeah. me, that's a giant. So yeah. <laughs> I'm short. I'm like five and a quarter. Yes, I have. Also, I really love the dress you had on the first day. Was that the first day? Yeah, the first yeah, day. I had a dress for every week, every day, basically. But <laughs> was, was that like him. custom made? Like, how do you how do you get a custom dress made? Yeah. Like, how does that work? I did. I mean, uh, online. I found a place and she, I was she, able she's to gonna start selling them. I, think. I, so she, she I love give away her, I love it. Her <laughs> <laughs> but like, yeah, basically, I got it kind of custom made, so it was pretty. Yeah, I was very excited about the dresses. Oh so. man, I feel horrible that you got sick, man. That that's I know. Sucks. No, I, I was out for like one day. It's fine. Yeah. I mean, I wish we got to spend more uh, quality time together too. I that, I mean, that's with a lot of people because we were running around so much. But it yeah, was awesome. the couple of moments we had was 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 fantastic. I'm glad we got to meet you in person. Oh yeah, no, I'm so glad y'all are awesome. No, <laughs> I you're awesome. people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was cool meeting everyone in person. Yeah, because we've met you remotely and we were able to meet you in person. So that was cool. Did you have any any good convos with the devs? Were you able to kind of get, get some FaceTime with anybody? Well, see, I'm like kind of like, I guess like awkward in person because I saw Cole and Justin working on something, but I didn't want to like be creepy. Like okay. online, if they like talk, I, I could just listen. <laughs> right i can i can like go into the dev chat and just and just sit there and creep but in person <laughs> that's not socially acceptable <laughs> but i did have some great conversations they were like having a conversation off like um near the bar and i was like oh what are y'all doing they're like working on some really cool stuff I'm, I'm not gonna say what it was it was like i was like jesus christ so like that's that true. was really cool but the talks are really cool I, I got to meet um ruben from fire was really which was awesome justin like all those people were really cool to meet in person and so, uh, other than your your bad experience with the Mexican water or whatever it buffet, was, the buffet, the <laughs> buffet. Um, what do you think of next year, man? Mexico again? Other ideas? What, what what's your take? I'm indifferent. This is my first time out of the country, so I'm down to go Sweet. wherever y'all go. Sweet. More excuse to travel. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. <laughs> all right well, yeah, yeah take it away what well, i don't even know what you're talking about this week oh monero note okay sweet yeah take it away yeah so this is um actually happened today i'm gonna be talking about some issues with um trusting remote notes that monero has right now or any cryptocurrency has actually this actually happened i think two weeks ago but let's get into it. i can show you the reddit post but yeah so basically there was a security advisory put out the details are not public yet, right? So we don't know exactly what the issue is, but it was an issue put out with if you trust a remote node, they can do things like um, feed you bad information, which could lead to you losing money, essentially. They can't, like, take money out of your wallet, of course. So this isn't, like, directly, they can't directly do it, but there are some major issues with this. And this goes for any cryptocurrency. I want to be clear about that. Any cryptocurrency that you're trusting a remote node, they can feed you bad information and do all kind of mischievous things, right? So you should really have your own node. But let's get a little more into the details about we, what we do know about this issue, specifically with Monero right now. Um, what do we know? Well, when you have bugs like this, they sort of get a rating from 1 to 10. This one got around a 6.5. And there's a bunch of uh, calculations that go into calculating how bad um, an exploit is. 
So it was about 6.5 out of 10. Like, it gives you a scale for how, I guess, bad this issue is. But once again, they can't directly steal fun, but they can hurt your privacy also. And they can probably feed you fake data, which can make you, like, spend more money than you need to on transaction, raise your fees, things like that. But we're not sure. The only people that know for sure are the people on the Monero core team that have access to the report on the bug right now. And how can this be fixed? Well, um, when it, in the Reddit post, there was a you can do like make a change to random X, and that would allow you to do other things with it to verify the data that you're getting, I believe is a gist of it. But that's gonna have to come at a hard fork, right? You can't just force this patch onto the network right now. So they're probably gonna wait until Seraphis or some other thing and patch this in with that. But um, long term, you should run your own node. Right, even if they do patch this issue, you should not be trusting random nodes with your privacy information. They can make you spend more money on transaction. I was on Twitter, I saw I think Monero Profit almost got tricked into into spending 400 USD on a transaction, and that was just today. So, be aware, run your own node long term. But I have some good news for you that I found out at. Neratopia was announced. Um, Doug and and his team actually have uh, Monero nice. Noto. Yeah, this is public information, right? Yeah, this is this is public information. I mean, we were just kind of kind of soft launching it. Uh, definitely at Monero Con will be a little bit more aggressive because we're going to be there. The guy Abdullah is who I'm working mm-hmm. on it with, and so he's going to be at Monero Con in person presenting it. But yeah, go ahead, take it away. Oh wow, I have so many questions for you after this, but yeah. Basically, you should run your own node, and you have basically two ways. You can run it in the cloud, which is it's in the cloud, right? So the issue with that. But the best and most private and secure way is to run your own node on-premises. And what um, Doug and Sunita and team have done here is pretty much put a computer in a box that you can plug and play, and you'll have your own node. And it's really cool. And here's the spec sheet for it. I mean, this spec sheet is... is crazy you talk about 16 gigabytes of ram one terabyte of storage it has backup storage even has a gpu because this one actually has a screen on it also this is the first node that i've seen that has a screen on it so as i, I can imagine the amount of um interactions you can get with it and how much easier it's gonna be all right i don't want to hype it up too much because it, it yeah. is in um no, no. this stage yeah 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 please do i mean <laughs> <laughs> we, we, need to get, disaster. we need to get the pre-orders um going so that we could essentially we have to put up uh 15k up front to to develop it mm-hmm. uh, you know everything everything's in place we're ready to kind of hit the the go the, the go button on producing these uh it's been a long time actually been working on this for how long like well over a year oh maybe. yeah Maybe two years. Like, the, how it's, do you keep these things a secret? Like, I didn't even know. Like, it just really just dropped well, it one day. I didn't want to talk about it until we knew that we could make it happen, right? So we're we're there. We can make it happen. Um, we got to iron out. I think we have it listed as five hundred, including shipping. But I uh-huh. might change that up just because I don't want us to get screwed over. Do you want me to share um, the website? Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely okay. share the website. I don't know if I can. With- uh, Actually, if I people want to place an order, please please do. I mean, that will that will give us momentum. I'm looking to get like 25, at least 25 okay. pre-sales. Over your screen. Uh, and then we'll feel very confident with moving, moving ahead. And I guess if we don't get those, maybe we would abandon the project. But this is a dream come true for me. Oh, think- yeah. I did this because this is something I want. I don't know if you, I don't know if anybody listening if you guys remember Monero Box from years years past. It was the first attempt at a plug and play Monero node. I actually did a, a Monero Talk interview with the guy. I mean, that must have been like I don't know when that was twenty eighteen. That was that was a long time ago, and he uh, he just never really followed through with the project. So we actually consulted him. We had him on board with this, helping us out a little bit. And uh, Abdullah, who I've never met in person, but he had reached out to me and we started this project together and he, he really ran with it. Right. So I was just kind of the 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 idea guy and the motivation for somebody who wants a plug and play Monero box. And he got this all together and he's been working on it, hustling on it. And uh, it's, it's if it's as as good as he as he describes to me and us. 
Uh, it really is a dream come true. So, that, I mean, basically, it's at the point where you'll be able to input your view key into into the Monero Noto box, uh, even on the box itself. Uh, and it's going to be running a uh, my Monero server, right? So you'll mm -hmm. be able to hook up your own, you know, your own wallet to to it easily and have the, um, I guess, you, the, the speed and convenience of something like a my Monero without sacrificing any of your privacy because your view key will be on your own my Monero server, not on uh, some company's servers, right? Like my Monero or mm -hmm. Exodus, right? We You'll be able to have the convenience of an Exodus or a my Monero wallet, which as those who use it know is, is instant, right? Compared to something like Cake where it's a, a true wallet where you have to down, true full wallet, we have to download and scan the entire blockchain. When you're using something like my Monero, that scanning is taking place on their servers. But now the idea with and with the uh, Monero Nodo is you'll be able to very easily in a way where somebody like me can do it and get it up and running, uh, get your Monero node up and running by literally just plugging it in, uh, you know, with one or two steps, making it as simple as possible. And then uh, secondly, being able to use it at easily con connect it as your own node that your wallet can connect to. Uh, and third, using the My Monero server if you want to go if you want to go that route, so you could have the experience of something like a My Monero wallet, which is a, a light wallet, without sacrificing any security or privacy. And that's kind of the the overall vision with it. Yeah, this thing, the spec sheet for this thing is crazy. One terabyte of storage, and I think that that's projected to last you five years. I think I saw somewhere. Like five years of constant twenty four seven like uptime. It's it's really you know what material is this? You said it's aluminum in person, I believe. Yeah, we'll have uh we'll have Abdullah come on and do a okay. show on it. He's gonna present again. I don't want to I don't want to put out any misinformation. Uh, he's he's the tech guy behind it all, so he'll he'll give you all the detailed specs and can answer all all questions. Definitely have him on soon. Um. Yeah, man, it's uh, we it's really we, cool. We definitely appreciate anybody that wants to be kind of an early bird and you know pre-order because that will give us the momentum to place the large order. And you know, God forbid, if for some reason things aren't working out, uh, we would return all the money. Uh, and you know, this isn't just some random uh, startup. This is me, Doug Tuman. <laughs> I'm behind it, so uh, you could trust that if there's any bumps in the road. Uh, we'll send back all your money if for some reason or if we don't get enough orders uh, for us to, you know, there's, this really isn't a money making proposition until we get hundreds and hundreds of orders. But if we could at least get like 25 or 50 up front, it gives us the momentum to know that we will at least not lose a lot of money on it. <laughs> we can we can near break even and maybe eventually start to make start to make money off of it. I'm trying to keep it as accessible as possible. Like I said, main goal is for people to be able to people like me to be able to run their own node, uh, just plug and play. And you, in addition to to adding, you know, adding all your to be able to run Monero in the best way possible for you personally, right? It's mm -hmm. also obviously adding to the security of the network as a whole, right? So it's kind of the dream. If we if if every Monero user was running their own Monero node, uh, the you know the the ecosystem would be that much stronger and robust. Yeah, and it's a, it's a requirement. I said, well, for right now, I know Monero has a like a bug out right now, but even if they patch that, this is still going to be true. You should always run your own node. is It is a supreme form of peer to peer digital cash, as we love around here. So, however you do it, I think Monero Node is going to be a great option. And I'm so excited for it. I wish I had it like because I'm like. I saw it in person at the. Um, I wish I saw it in person at the Monero Topia. That would have been like awesome. <laughs> it I looked really we're, cool. We're obviously yeah. going for that, but we had a lot on our plate. Um, and yeah, so even the website, we were a little like apprehensive little... about putting it up, but we said let's let's get it up. Uh, so we got the website up. By Monero Con, we hope to have the actual boxes there. Oh. A couple of them with us that will bring <laughs> with us. Yeah. I'm a lot. Yeah. Because I don't know who you said. Of, of, how did you pronounce Abdullah. the person's name? Abdullah. Yeah. They're like amazing. Like I look at the code. The website looks beautiful. The, the they, they do all like they do like the CAD, all that, all the code. 
It's like amazing so, uh, stuff. Abdullah, Abdullah's He's been like hiring kind of the people along the way yeah. that we've been paying in Monero. You know, like any oh, other- I thought just one guy. I'm like, oh yeah, my yeah, god, how is he? Have various yeah. devs that have helped us along the way. Yeah, you kept uh, it a secret. Abdullah's just been project managing it. Well, not a secret. I just wasn't out there. I actually until made some mention like of it on yeah. the show. If anybody listens very closely, but I have until it. confirmed, but like I did, you can't really. Yeah, I don't want. I don't want to be that guy, right? I don't want. I don't want to start. Uh, pushing something before i know we could actually make it across the finish line so that's kind of almost there so, so i'm confident that we can now make it across the finish line and in fact uh pre-orders will help us in a in a very big way um but yeah man thank you for giving it uh, some attention oh yeah no thank you it was a really beautiful project i'm super excited about it and i didn't even get to watch abdullah's presentation on it because i was obviously busy but i did i did <laughs> peek up there because he was on the remote stage so i saw him for the first time because uh-huh. we've never i've never I've never seen him, you know. We've we've been talking for two years through uh Signal and Telegram, and we have various <laughs> chat groups. And for whatever reason, we never did a face a face. No, talk. actually. Yeah, I don't know why. I just, actually, I just thought I he remember. never wanted to, but now in his he did his presentation. I see him like oh, it's Abdullah. So uh, but unfortunately his slides didn't work when he did it. Oh. Uh, so, so we'll edit those in and then at MoneroCon, we're gonna have a redo, and he's gonna be there in person. So I'm sure the presentation will be a lot better, and maybe I'll participate that, in that a little bit too, just to kind of give the the overall as to why why we're even pursuing this. Oh yeah, is is there a reason you didn't get the was it the CCS funding? I think Monero Box petitioned for something, but you seem you you do this all on your own. Is there a reason you chose to go that route? Yeah, I mean, my primary reason is just so we don't have too many cooks in the kitchen, right? So you do a CCS yep. funding, and now you have the entire Monero community that feels like they they run the project, which I get mm. it. I understand that. But that makes it a little bit harder to kind of move and pivot and make your own decisions. Same reason why we don't do CCS funding for the Monerotopia conference. MoneroCon does. They somehow manage to deal with all that. But <laughs> as nice as it is to have that security up front, it does kind of lead to some issues with management and being able to do what you want. For example, like we added all these privacy tech projects, right? We added Xano and, and, uh, mm. Oxen and all these, but we didn't have to ask anybody, right? We didn't have to turn to the community and be like, Hey guys, do you mind if we do this? Or do you mind if we take on this sponsor? Or do you mind if, you know, we do it at this venue, like the, that's a different approach. And I, I totally respect that. And I, I love that we have that, uh, you know, with MoneroCon. But Monero, I think that's really what differentiates Monerotopia, right? We can we can pivot, mm. we can move fast, and we can kind of curate things ourselves without having to kind of ask for per- permission. And so it's the same thing with this node project. We just wanted to to do it on our own. Um, but yeah, that makes sense. Wow, yeah. And also, you know, I think we need that, right? Monero, we've, we've had these conversations quite a bit. Monero, it can't just be that we constantly, uh, we have to raise funding for project. It needs to be that true capitalism arises here. Mm-hmm. That people are able to run businesses, right? That somebody's able to run a conference without asking the community to fund it. But they run it in a way where it funds itself because it's attractive to people that want to attend. They want to buy tickets. They want to buy virtual conference tickets. They want to sponsor it. And it becomes a self-sustaining business, right? And so we need to make sure that in Monero that these self-sustaining businesses arise, right? It can't just be all Mm -hmm. funding based uh, because long term, that's just not that's not going to work. That makes perfect sense. Yeah. (laughs) Cool, man. Thanks for bringing it up. Yeah, of course. Well, that's pretty much it uh, for me today as far as the the issues go. Like I said, run your own note, please. Like, Doug's put out a great product here. You know, it's going to last you at least five years. Like, pre-order it. If you, like, just run your own note however you, however you can. <laughs> yes. And I see there are questions. Um, we'll, we'll, like I said, we'll have Abdullah on maybe even, like, within the next couple of weeks before MoneroCon. We'll have them on. We'll do a full presentation on it. We'll answer all your questions. People can jump up on stage and and uh, grill me and Abdullah, particularly <laughs> Abdullah. He knows the, the the inner workings, and we'll a- answer all questions on the Monero Nodo. Sweet man. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank course. you for thank you. going to uh, Monero Topia. Hope you had a good time. Yeah. And- no, I did. Thank you so much. Thank you for putting it on. I feel like people, you guys, make things look easy. Well, like, it was the first time I saw y'all in person. I just saw y'all just running back and yeah, forth. So I'm like, yeah, y'all put in a lot of work. 
thank you all. Yeah, no, thank you. Uh, I think I think I... some people witnessed the the non looking easy parts, right? Yeah, it was very stressful. <laughs> it's okay. I'm gonna take a break. <laughs> so, <laughs> some of the flip out moments, uh, you know. And plus, it's stressful. Plus, we're husband and wife, so you. That's you like another that layer. And, uh, <laughs> y'all did y'all look pretty well. We still will be by by next Monero. <laughs> <but> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the look of concern in Doug's eyes, like, wait, wait, we we will be right. <laughs> no, overall, it was just an awesome experience. I mean, see it's that? stressful. Did, did crazy. That? He sees what's going on. <laughs> we'll see what happens. <laughs> Monero Topia will be will be our child, no matter what. Oh God, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's it's an awesome experience. It's just, you know, a lot, a lot of work. And like he was mentioning before, you know, it's basically like the two of us running it. So it's. It's a lot. I mean, we have obviously a lot of helpers, which so, is pretty yeah, appreciated. Yeah, yeah, not to discount all. Yeah, that, yeah, I and mean, we got so if it, if we didn't get that help, we would have just like died. Or I yeah, and that's died. obviously one of the <laughs> biggest changes we need to make as well, right? Like we greatly appreciate everybody's help, but we put too much pressure on people that just kind of show up. To yeah, help. we you know, and moving, f I feel like very confident that next Monerotopia will be better organized. Oh yeah, in fashion. definitely. So you know, it's all a learning curve because then the stress it. goes on them. Be like, you know. <laughs> We, we have people on the spot trying to help us figure things out. Um, so we realized that. Yes, we and did. We're, we're very appreciative. Oh, God. Yeah. Thank you to everyone. And you have no idea. No idea. I think I said it like 8,000 times to people. <laughs> thank, thank you for all the help. All right. The weekend, but thank you for doing yeah. this. That's also thank another you, thing. Thank yep. you. Thanks, and it was also meeting you in person. Yeah, awesome. I'll see y'all soon. All right. I'll see Cheers, you soon. Brother. Thank you. <laughs>